are you? Second year. I hope you are happy and fun. Well, today is Monday, the 8th of June. It's cloudy now, yes, because I was recording from very early. So it's cloudy now, yes, okay. Good. So uh, bye bye, unit five. Hello, unit six, okay? Good. Remember that you have to come in. Hoy me tenés que entregar tu video giving the instructions of your favorite dish. Yes, okay. And the brainstorming of lost love, yes, because today, yes, as homework, you are going to have the pages from the activity book, plus you have to record, record what? Lost love, okay? You have to record lost love, yes, in three minutes. You have to explain what is it about. It's about what? A woman and a man, yes, they found they met, yes, he met her in blah, 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 yes, then, yes, uh, well, first of all, his car stopped, then, yes, uh, he needed, yes, petrol, then he met a strange woman, yes, uh, she was wearing strange clothes, yes, okay, in three minutes, and you have to use the past. Remember the pronunciation of the verbs in the past, yes? That's why I asked you the previous class, the brainstorming. Por eso te pedí para la clase pasada, te pedí de tarea para la clase pasada que hoy me tienes que entregar a las 7. Yes, you have to hand in the brainstorming, yes? We are going to correct it, okay? Pero para eso ya te hago, te hice hacer el brainstorming antes para que hoy, cuando me tengas, hoy llevas de tarea, ¿sí? Record a three minutes video. ¿Qué va a ser? Sale hoy, 8 del 6, para que me entregues el 10 del 6. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro? Verse in pass. Yes. ¿Ok? Good. Well, so pay attention now. Yes, pay attention now. Yes, I want you to, um, I want you to look at the picture. Yes, today we are going to work. On, you will have the photo pizarra and everything there. Yes, but today we are going to work on pages. Uh, unit 6. Pages are uh, 69, 70, 71, 72, and 73 from the class book. Okay, is it clear? Good. But first of all, I want you to look at the pictures. Yes, okay. On the board. Okay, there you can see it. Good. That is better. All right. So, uh, things, yes, people did in the past are things people do now in the present. Okay. So, we have the past and the present. In the past, children played. Yes. In the streets now, children play with computers. Yes, they played in the streets. Now they play with computers. They play computer games. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, games with the consola. Yes, okay. Uh, in the past, people talked on the phone. Yes, people talk on the phone. And now people use social. People use. Social media, yes, social networking sites, yes, okay. In the past, yes, like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, okay, and then all the other apps, yes, like WhatsApp, yes, okay. In the past, students had in person classes, now students have online classes, okay, good. So, what kind of words do we have, yes, in the past okay so we have regular verbs yes you already know this and irregular verbs okay so the regular verbs you are ed and the regular change for example have had in this case play played talk talked have had okay is it clear 
Good. So I want you to think about the activities you did in the past. Yes. All the activities you do now. People play, uh, children play in plates in the street. Yes. Okay. What else? Yes. They play in the street. They rode their bikes in the street. Yes. Now they spend a long time in front of the TV. Yes. Uh, they use uh, the uh, PlayStation, for example. Yes. Okay. Good. So these are the things you have to take into account for now. Yes, activities you did in the past and activity you do now. Okay? So let's go to the book. Yeah. Think about these activities, yes. I want you to make a list on the activities, yes, your parents did in the past. Yes, we played the rajuela, for example. Now you don't play it again. We skip the rope. Yes, we skipped. The rope, yes, okay. We played the elastico, yes. Many things we did in the past, but now you don't do it, okay. You don't do them, okay, these activities, okay. So let's go, and I want you to look at this picture, yes, on page 69. Uh, yes, uh, past and present, yes, and they are brothers and sister, yes, okay. Um, do you have a picture of uh, your parents in the past and your parents now? Yes, I want you to uh, pick up a picture, look and describe the picture, yes? If you look the, if they look the same, if they look different, of course they would look different, but it's the same smile, yes, okay? One is taller, you know? In this picture, the girl was taller than the boy. And in the picture, in the present, the girl is still taller than the brother, okay? Is it clear? Good. It's a very nice picture, all right? So let's go to page um, 69. We're going to do exercises 1, 2, 3, and 4, all right? Remember, in some parts you have to uh, pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Because I, I go to the answers, um, but you have to solve the exercises first, all right? Is it clear? Good. Well done. Good, good, good. There we go. How was your weekend? I hope it was okay. Good. Well, number one, there we are. Yes, okay. It's a photo we have already said about two um, people, sister and brother. In this case, uh, Donna and Stephen. Yes, okay. So let's go to exercise two. Yes, we are going to listen and underline the correct option. You're going to listen <coughs> to numbers, okay? So be prepared, yes? Track 56, unit six opener. During the 1970s and 80s, Chris Porsche took lots of black and white photographs of local people in his city. 30 years later, Chris looked for the same people by putting the old photos on his website and in the newspaper. Donna and Stephen saw their photo from 1981 and they contacted Chris. It shows them as children in front of their old family house. They don't live in the house now, but they live in the same city. They returned to the street and Chris took the second photo in 2015. Okay, well, so number one, 1970. Yes, okay, let's go. 70s and 80s, yes, okay, 70s and 80s, yes, and 1981 is number two, yes, and 2015, 2015, yes, okay, number three, yes, okay, he went, the photographer went, yes, they don't live in the same house, it was a, the, the old family house, but they live in the same city, they went to the house, and the photographer took the picture. They don't live there now, yes, but it was the, 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 
the old family house. It, it is a very nice picture. Have you? Uh, do you still live in your in the same house your parents lived, or is it a different house? Yes. Okay. Good. Well. All right. Uh, let's go to exercise three. We are going to match. You have to match. Yes. Do it now. Pause the video. Yes. Okay. Do the activities and then listen to the answer. 1970, 1979, 1789, 1789, 3, 2002, 4, 1960 to 1969, 5, 18 to 1819, 99, 1899, okay? Yes, okay, good. Uh, exercise 4, yes, okay, A5. Yes, okay, the first photographs, A, 5, the 19th century, 3, yeah, well, not, A, 5, B, the euro currency, B, 3, B, 3, the beginning of the 21st century, C, the first mobile phone, C, 1, the 19, 1970s, C, 1, C, one okay d4 d the beatles yes four four the 60s yes okay and the american revolution yes two the end of 18th century okay good yeah, this is history okay let's go to page 70 and 71 i want you to look up um have you focused on the famous uh uh, faces you have uh, when you when we are talking about money yes you know her this is Frida Kahlo yes this is Queen Elizabeth yes oh my god this is George Washington there okay so uh, have you seen this yes all the most important people when we are talking about money, the face is there, okay? So I want you to do exercises from there. Exercises are two, three, yes, okay? Highlight the grammar chart, highlight the grammar chart. I want you to tell me, where were you last weekend? Answer, I'm going to answer, I was at home. Where were you last weekend? Remember to answer in deep with at the disco, at home, at the station, at the cinema, at school. Okay. Where were you last weekend? I was at the cinema. We're going to invent. Of course, you were at home, yes? Okay, I was at the cinema. Where were you last night? You were at home. I was at the disco. Where were you last Saturday? Saturday, yes? Yeah? I was uh, at the park. And you? You were at the restaurant. Okay, where was your mom? My mom was at the uh, supermarket. Where was your dad? My dad was at the hairdressers. Yes, okay, is it clear? So remember, was, where, okay? I was, you were, they were, we were, yes, he or she was, okay? Good. So uh, I want you to do from page 71, yes, 71, you are going to do exercise 7, exercise 8, yes, okay, 9, 10, okay, is it clear? Good. So I will go to the answers, remember now, remember to stop the video. All the grammar charts on pages 70 and 71 must be highlighted, is it clear? Yes, all right, there we are, good. Um, which people and places are on the notes and coins in your country? Okay, what, uh, which people? I want you to, queens, presidents, places, animals, okay? Good, I want you to uh, bring the money, yes, and see what, what things, what drawings, what pictures do we have there? Pictures of presidents, pictures of animals, yes, okay, places. All right, and see it. Yes, good. Um, wait a minute, I'm making some notes. Good. So, exercise two.
two. Are you there? One C, two B, three A. You have to read the uh, the article. It's a very interesting uh, article. Yes. Okay. Um, you know the story of Frida Kahlo. Yes, I have seen the film. Everybody knows her. Okay. And you know uh, the one who is there is uh, Diego Rivera. Yes. They lived in Mexico. During the 19, 1930s, they traveled around the world. Their paintings were famous in many countries. Yes, okay. Today, Frida and Diego's faces are on the Mexican peso. Okay, well, and then you have George Washington. Yes, okay, good. Well, um, there we are. So, 1C, 2B, 3A. Exercise 3. 1 true, 2 false, 3 false, 4 false. Five true and six true. Yes, exercise. There we are. Blah, 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 blah. Five two, yeah? Choose the correct option to complete. Yes, five from page 71. All right? Number one was Queen Elizabeth, the famous Queen Elizabeth II. Yes, okay? Number two was. Number three, were. Number four, wasn't. Number five, weren't. Number six, was, okay? Was there, um, were there a lot of trains in Formosa many years ago? Yes, there were. Was there a famous train station, a crowded train station in Formosa? Yes, there was. Now, there is a famous train station, but there isn't any trains, okay? Good. Uh, it's a famous building only, okay? Uh, number four, where? Yes, sorry, number four wasn't, number five weren't, and number six was. Yes, okay, so let's go to exercise seven. Are you there? One F, one F. Good, one F. Two G. Three C. Four D. Five A. Six J. 7i, 8k, 9e, 10b, 11h, okay? Okay, is it clear? Good, right? When I was a child, yesterday, during the 19th century, during the 70s, yes? Okay, before, ta-ta-ta, in 1999, in 1997, I finished high school, in, two, um, in 2000, I started my career, yes, is it clear? A week ago, yes, I bought uh, a, an electrical kettle, yes, for my kitchen, for example, yes, okay, good. These are, you know, expressions from the past, okay? Number eight, when, I, uh, when were your grandparents born? When were you born, yes? When was your last holidays? My last holidays were in uh, January, okay, last January. Where, was, where were you on January the, fir uh, fir the first this year? Uh, I was in the beach, yes? What month were you born in? I was born in September. Who were uh, some famous people in the 20th century? Yes, okay, that was, those were the questions there. Highlight the, the, the charts and have already uh, revised regular and irregular verbs, okay? So, let's go to, we add ed, live, ends in e, so we add only, well, you already know this, yes, okay? Uh, number 10, are you there? Lived, studied, painted, died, traveled, worked, finished, started okay that's all from there let's go to page 72 and 73 visiting the past yes look at the two photos there yes why do you uh, do you think the caves are important to the woman and we're going to uh, listen exercise two of a part of a tv documentary and you have to check why do you think um this wall, yes, this cave, I mean, no wall, it's very important for her. Are you ready? Okay. 
Good. I think it's because of um, uh, she's maybe a kind of uh, explorer. Uh, she studies history, yes. Maybe uh, she's interested just in climbing. Yes, okay, so let's check. All right, are you there? Good, there we go. Track 60. We are Unit going to do 16. two and three with this listening. The Mustang region is in the Himalayan mountains of northern Nepal and it's famous for its ancient caves. Humans made the caves about a thousand years ago and many people lived in them until the 15th century before they built houses and moved to towns. The caves were warm and dry and they were safe because of their location. Even today you can find people who lived in the caves. This woman, Yandu Bista, was born in a cave and she grew up here with her family. Life was difficult. They didn't have water in the cave, so she went to the river every day and brought water up the mountain. In the end, her family moved to the town, but she says, I like living in a cave better. Hmm. Okay, good. Remember, uh, you have to listen again, yes, and do exercise three with the same listening, okay? I'm making some notes there. Good. Right. Yes, okay, there we go. Good. Uh, well, she lives there. She loves visiting them. Yes. She's studying, exploring, protecting them. And well, these were the, the guessing uh, answers. Okay, number two, she grew up in the cave with her family. Yes, number one, friend exercise three. Remember to listen again and complete. Nepal, thousand. 15th, dry, born, better. Okay? So I want you to do from page 73, exercises 5, 6, 9, and 11. 5, 6, 9, and 11. Yes? Okay? Are you there? Do it. Remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay? Is it clear? Good. Well, there we go. Go, 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 go. Good, good, good. Good. All right. Exercise five. Made to lift, built, moved, was. Number five, grew up. Number six, didn't have. Number seven, went, brought. Exercise six, was, grew up, went, got, had and left. Yes, okay? Good. And then you have to do exercise seven, but you have to make the sentences true for you, okay? Is it clear? I, I will give you uh, my examples, all right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Good. So I was born in um, 1979. Yes. I. Um, well, I lived in a small city. I didn't. I didn't live in a big city. Yes. Okay. I lived in a small city with my mother, my dad, uh, my two brothers, and one sister, and my sister. Um, mm -mm. I went to the kindergarten when I was. I didn't go to my first school when I was four years. Old. Remember, you have to make it true for you. So you, I have to put. I didn't go to my first school when I was four years old. I went when I was five years old. Yes, I. Mm -mm. I didn't ride a bicycle from my parents when I was seven. I rode my brother's uh, bicycle. It was green and it was a very nice bicycle, and I fell off many times before I learned. Uh, number. Five, uh, I 
didn't have a job on weekends. I had my first job when I was 18 and a half. Yes, okay. Now, when I finished this, the high school, the secondary school, I home when I was 16. Uh, no, I didn't move. Yes, okay. I, I didn't leave home. Yes, because I studied here in Formosa. I left home when I got married. Yes, at the age of 20. Uh, six more or less 25 yes okay well okay exercise nine there we go yes are you there good nine 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 did did didn't did five did six didn't remember when you have the auxiliary verb in the question and in the negative form the verb goes in infinitive i didn't go i didn't travel did you sleep the siesta did you travel okay is it clear Right, okay. Number 10. What did you do at the weekend? I went to the Natural History Museum in London. I visited to the centre of Rome. How did you get there? I got there or I went on the London Underground. I got there or I went by bus and by taxi. Did you go with anyone? Yes, I went with a friend from school. Yes, I was with a group of people from work. What did you see? I saw a dinosaur. I saw dinosaur bones. I saw the Coliseum. Yes, okay. Did you do anything else? I had lunch at the museum. I did some shopping. All right, so this is done. Yes, okay. So in all the class, we have revised everything. Um, remember, next class, remember to hand in uh, the video of the story Lost Love. Remember to pronounce, yes, uh, all the verbs in the past right, yes, remember you have to start, this story is about, yes, okay, it's about a man, yes, I'm giving examples, a man that is lost, yes, he's out of petrol, so he needed some gasoline, some petrol, so he went, yes, to a village, to ask for petrol and then he saw a woman, the woman talked to him, yes, the woman was strange because she was wearing strange clothes and blah, 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 okay? So, organize your ideas first, that is why I made you uh, write the brainstorming that you have to hand in this afternoon, plus the, um, the video giving instruction of your favorite dish, so we are going to correct your brainstorming, but for next class, you have to tell the story. I assume that if you have done the brainstorming, you have already read, of course, the, the story, so you have ideas. But remember, before recording the video, because you have to use only three minutes, you have to organize your ideas, read your brainstorming, yes, organize the verbs you are going to use, you are going to use, and then record it, okay? So, bye-bye, second year. See you next class.